RCR Wireless News. Uh, today we are joined by Kevin Robinson, who is the Senior Marketing Manager at the Wi-Fi Alliance, to talk a bit about some new initiatives coming from the Wi-Fi Alliance in the space of the, of the Wi-Gig space. So Kevin, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having me here. Cool. Well, great. Well, again, uh, maybe I'll start out with uh, maybe for those who don't know about the Wi-Fi Alliance. I mean, obviously, the little logo behind your shoulder there. I think most people have seen that at some point in their lives, maybe not sure what it means. But uh, if you give, I guess, give a quick background on, on the Wi-Fi Alliance. Sure. Wi-Fi Alliance is an industry trade association, and we represent more than 550 companies that make up the Wi-Fi industry. Uh, one of the most important things we do is we are dedicated to delivering a great user experience with Wi-Fi. And so we operate a program called the Wi-Fi Certified Program that ensures that those devices that a user goes and purchases from a retail outlet or online are actually going to work and work well together when they bring them home. Got it. So whenever a person's got their laptop, their, their smartphone, they go to a public Wi-Fi spot or any Wi-Fi spot basically, and it happens to work, uh, I guess they can be thanking you guys to an extent. Yes, we play a very big role in that, ensuring that those devices will work together, whether they're in hot spots or at home. Got it, got it. Well, sounds good. Well, I know the, this or this week, yes, you guys announced, uh, I guess, some some expansion of your of your white gig certification process. Uh, can you, I guess, talk a little bit about about that. Uh, I know you guys announced a deal earlier this year, earlier this year with the White Gig Alliance uh, to kind of move forward with this. So maybe I guess some some background on the White Gig uh, platform, and then I guess the news from this week from you guys. Sure. So today, what we're or sorry, this week, what we're doing is we're announcing a new logo. It's the mm -hmm. Y Gig Certified logo, and Y Gig Certified will deliver interoperable, high performance. Is a sorry, it's an interoperable, high performance technology that is backed by the same uh, organization that has brought you Wi-Fi. So that same trusted organization that has ensured that Wi-Fi works. It's now backing YGIG certified to give you that same great experience. Uh, with YGIG certified, users can be confident that their devices will deliver a great user experience with advanced multimedia, uh, networking, and computing applications. Got it. Wi Fi Alliance. Oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Wi Fi Alliance really played a critical role in, in the Wi Fi legacy and making it as successful as it has been. And with our strong industry backing, we're going to replicate that success with this new technology. Got it. And for those who don't know, the Y gig technology it's a, it operates in 60 gigahertz space. It's a, mm -hmm. a high-speed, uh, short-range kind of thing. It's almost like a, a supercharged Wi-Fi, if that could be a right word for it. But a very high-speed, short-range stuff for uh, you know cable replacement, perhaps for, for, for mm -hmm. monitors and screens and stuff like that. Right. Absolutely. Got it. Now, as, as, and as part of this too, are you guys working on interoperability between? between Wi-Fi uh, technology itself and the YGIG technology? Absolutely, and, that, and that's a great point because uh, you know, one of the things that will, will make YGIG certified successful is that relationship with Wi-Fi and the overall ecosystem that an organization like Wi-Fi Alliance can deliver. Uh, so many of these devices that you're going to see will incorporate both Wi-Fi and YGIG. And because that work is now happening within Wi-Fi Alliance, we can give you that seamless experience. So you can do, you know, uh, uncompressed HD video over that 60 gigahertz or Y gig link, and then as you move through your home, transition that stream to uh, typical Wi-Fi at gigabit data rates, and really have a much better, uh, more seamless experience with those two technologies working as complements. Got it. And that seems to make a lot of sense. I mean, again, you guys have done a pretty good job with, with getting kind of Wi-Fi interoperability out there. Uh, if you can integrate the white gig uh, spec into there, uh, it seems like you know a great way to 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 boost that white gig space, but also provide the enhanced use uh, for, for traditional Wi-Fi as well. So it seems like a pretty a pretty nice move there to keep it all working together. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. Well, I guess can you talk a little bit about uh, I guess where we are in the white gig space? I mean, obviously it's it's perhaps a newer technology compared to Wi-Fi. Uh, I know it's been worked on for a while. Uh, but I guess you know, where are we at in, in the process of the ecosystem, and when do you expect mm -hmm. to have some some YGIG devices actually come into market? Sure. So as, as I mentioned, YGIG development is now under Wi-Fi Alliance. Um, the YGIG certified program will deliver that great user experience, um, strong security, and interoperability. Uh, 
we are currently working to deliver this program in 2014, and that's when you can expect to see YGIG certified devices entering the market. Got it. And so I'm guessing in now now devices that are both Wi-Fi certified and YGIG certified, will they have both? I guess both logos on on the device then showing that. Absolutely, they will have both logos. Um, so Wi-Fi certified and YGIG certified. Uh, the two technologies themselves are not interoperable. So a Wi-Fi device would not work with a YGIG device. They operate in different bands. And so that's why it is important to have those two logos to ensure that you know, people know that, okay, this is going to work with other YGIG devices, yeah. and this will work with other Wi-Fi devices. Got it. That makes sense. Makes sense. Now, I know, uh, I guess, you know, kind of the space of, of, of a cable replacement, high bandwidth space has been, has been talked about for a while. I know for myself, going to a lot of trade shows over the past dozen years or so, there's been various entities that have come out with trying to trying to provide this type of service. Uh, I guess what what makes YGIG perhaps the one that that should take off, or, or or you guys have confidence that YGIG will be kind of the technology that can really take this take this space and, and really uh, uh, provide a service to, to consumers. Mm -hmm. Well, I think one of the one of the biggest reasons is the fact that the work is happening within within Wi-Fi lines. Uh, this is an organization that has a history of success in the space in commercializing these types of technologies, and also. YGIG will, will be able to take advantage of that Wi-Fi ecosystem uh, as, as, a, as a strong complement. Um, I already mentioned the, the ability for handover. So whereas a, a short-range technology uh, like 60 gigahertz, by itself, it's great for very specific use cases. It may not be as strong in, in other scenarios. And by leveraging the strengths of both technologies and making sure that they work seamlessly together, uh, it really makes both of them that much more useful and valuable to the end user. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You're right. Like you said, there are some limitations to each one of them, but together they tend to fill in some of the, the, those limitations mm -hmm. and provide a more seamless uh, experience for users. So that would seem to make sense. Well, that sounds good. Well, hey, uh, Kevin, we definitely appreciate the insight today on this. Uh, again, again, good luck with the program, and we'll look forward to seeing some white devices out there. Uh, starting next year, but uh, again, thanks so much for the time today. We appreciate it. Sounds great. Thanks for having me. All right.